The adventure begins. Strap the swag to the back of the cruiser, air down the tires, and we're hitting the beach. We're gonna show you five must-see spots on Stratty with a bonus hot tip at the end. Flinders Beach is 4.6 kilometers off beach, situated between Point Lookout and Amnity Point. It's popular for foreshore camping and fishing. It has a reputation of being more sheltered than camping on the other side of the island on Main Beach. Access to the beach and the campsites is restricted by the tides, so check the tides before you come. Flinders Beach, we headed across to Main Beach to find a great spot for lunch. Main Beach is on the ocean side and more exposed to winds. If you look carefully, you see the Gold Coast, where dreams are made of. Let's go, let's go explore. So we brought everything but the ladder for the tent. You have not done that side. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Getting into the rooftop tent without a ladder. Yeah. What you got, Dylan? Um, salsa and dip. I'm being entertained. Here we go, pushing. Up it goes. Right. I know Benice will get there easy. She's a little, she's a little spider monkey. <laughs> I have one job: pack the car. Yeah. Look at it go. You made that look easy. <laughs> now we have a demonstration of Stephen trying to get into the rooftop tent without a ladder. He is an old man. We've woken up to a beautiful sunrise out over the water and then this morning we've sat here drinking coffee, eating breakfast and watching the whales jump out of the water. We've seen breeches and tails and all sorts just sitting in our campsite here along the main beach camping. Absolutely amazing. Makes for a beautiful experience. It's very windy. I think you just need to be prepared for the wind because it gets cold. As long as you've got some warm clothes and you're set for it, it'll be beautiful. Um, this is Main Beach? Main Beach, North Stradbroke Island. Um, we have booked, we're in about, I think, 
Camp Zone F. Camp Zone F, yep. So um, when you come along here, you need to check the tide times because at these beach um, camps are accessible just in low tide or when it gets high tide, sometimes you can't get through. So yep. you need to know your tide times and it's a long beach and it's about 35, 37 kilometres long. Something like that, yep. Yeah, lots of spots to pull up and have lunch and just have a nice day or go fishing. And while we're here, I want to have a big shout out to the friends and those who recommended we come and check out Strutty. It's been excellent. They shared with us a list of their favorite places to look at and things to do. And um, looking forward to the rest of today where we go and check out um, Brown Lake, hopefully, and um, some bakeries and maybe even the brewery. So yeah. pretty fun. Thank shout you. out to the girls. Thanks. The first thing we're looking for today is the keyholes. We're heading north up the beach to see if we can find the entrance. The signs for the keyholes were hard to see, so it took us a few attempts to find it. This could be the entrance. Let's give it a go. we could make out another four-wheel drive having a run-up at the sand dunes and we figured that must be the entrance. are hidden behind the sand dunes on Main Beach. They are a group of freshwater lakes ideal for a picnic, swimming or even a paddleboard. Oh and you may need a run up to get over the sand dunes at the entrance. You can travel south along the sides of the lakes to access different picnic spots. Into the lake. So we'll head south to uh, Lake Brown Lake. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah. Brown Lake is a lake 3.5 k's outside of Dunwich. Brown Lake gets its tea color from the surrounding tea trees and reeds. Another great place for a picnic or a swim. The roads are sealed from this point, so it was a good place to put the air back in the tires and head up to Point Lookout. Our highlight was Point Lookout. There is so much to see here. We walked the seamlessly ending stairs down to Frenchman's Beach for a stroll along this beautiful beach while the kids played in the sand. We got some ice creams from the shop and headed across the road to the lookout where we sat and looked out across the water. We had a great time here. We spotted whales breaching off the coast. There was a school of dolphins swimming below, jumping and playing. We walked a little further around the corner and spotted manta rays.
The North Gorge Walk is right there too. We walked the path then down to the North Gorge where we saw turtles and made our way to the South Gorge. This is a stunning walk and highly recommended and ends with an epic view of Main Beach. We had an awesome weekend exploring Stratty. We hope you had as much fun watching the video as we did making it and if you did, please like and subscribe. Oh and here's our bonus hot tip, the Stratty Brewery Co in Dunwich. It has a rooftop bar with amazing views out over the bayside. You can try their local brews, delicious variety of snacks and hot lunch options. Perfect spot to soak up some sun, coastal breeze while enjoying a cold bevy. Yay! Very cool. We can adventure. Alright, that's us then. Let's head.